Okay, welcome back to Watch It Play. This is video number three in our Wrath of a Shardalon series, which means you've suffered through the rules video, video one, you made it through the scenario and set up a video two, and now we're ready to play. Now Luke, you've played this game with me before. What do you think of Wrath of a Shardalon? Pretty good. Yeah, what do you like about it? Monsters. The monsters? What about the heroes? The treasures? You like the monsters? Well, don't worry, there's lots of monsters in this game. Uh, before we begin, I just want to thank Mark for sponsoring this episode. Thank you, Mark. And just to quickly introduce some of you, you might not know my son. This is my son, Luke. He's seven years old, and he's a great little gamer. And he's going to take on the role of our dwarf fighter, Vistra. After we've finished recording Luke's move here, it's then going to be your turn to suggest to us how you'd like the next character, the next hero, uh, to move for their turn. Now, the way you can do that is you can submit YouTube comments. But if you're feeling extra ambitious and you want to give us a little more motivation to choose your move for the next turn, you could make a video of yourself telling us what you'd like to do for the move. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, you know, it could just be on your webcam. But feel free to role play it a little bit, you want to put a little costume on, <laughs> whatever. Uh, whatever gets our attention would be appreciated. And then we'll just embed that video, we'll just put it up here in the corner and... <laughs> well, you... no, it's not going to be hanging there in the corner, Luke, it's just going to be like... It, it, it's special effects. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I think I confused them there a little bit. Um, so we'll put your video up in the corner, and then we'll listen to what you want to say. Everyone gets to see you make the move, and then we'll, we'll play it out here. Um, now, I wouldn't email the video to me because it would probably be a slightly larger file, but you could upload it to a media sharing service like um, Mega Upload or Media Fire, File, Media Fire, Media Fire, and then uh, email me the link at watchitplayed at live.com. We'll download it, and then maybe you'll be uh, seeing yourself in our next video. Okay, so it's the beginning of the first player's turn. Luke's our first player. He's controlling Vistra, the dwarf fighter. And oh, before we begin, we're going to draw one treasure card, because every hero gets one treasure card at the beginning of the game. And Luke has drawn... Lucky turn. A little luck goes a long way. Use this item after any die roll. So, you're going to get to re-roll a dice mm -hmm. anytime you don't like the result. After you do that, you have to throw out this treasure card. Okay, so to begin your turn, you're in the hero phase, and you get three options. You can attack and move, move and attack, or move and move. Now, the only problem here, Luke, is there's no one here to attack except for other heroes. <laughs> now, get that evil look out of your eye. You can't attack the other heroes, okay? So it looks like you're just going to have to move. Now you have a speed of five. You don't have to use all of your move. Where would you like to go? Mm, nowhere. You're going to stay right there? Yeah. Okay, well that is an option. Luke's on the edge of the tile, so at the end of his turn, uh, so at the end of his hero phase, we go into the exploration phase, and we're going to need to draw a new tile. So the tile we've drawn here has a black arrow on it. What that means is during the villain phase, we're going to have to draw an encounter card. So we put the arrow facing the tile that Luke is on. Oh, yes, is there something and, I'm missing? Uh, yes, and there is an open door tile right here. So we're going to draw a closed door tile and put it on top. So this doorway is closed, and once one of our heroes get next to it, we can find it whether it's locked, unlocked, or... Trapped. Or trapped, exactly. So that now ends the... Um, no, sorry, it doesn't end the exploration phase because we've forgotten something very important. The part of the game, apparently, you like the most. <laughs> Monsters. So what we have to do is flip over the top card on the monster deck and see what kind of monster is going to appear. Orc Smasher. The Orc Smasher. So we're going to the model for the Orc Smasher. We're going to place it on the scorch mark. And that ends our exploration phase. It's the villain phase. At the beginning of this villain phase, we're going to have to draw an encounter card because the dungeon tile that we revealed had a black arrow on it. So we'll flip over the top encounter card, and it's an event attack, Concussive Blast. An ingenious trap releases a blast of massive pressure from the volcano below. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. After the attack, move each hero on the active hero's tile to an adjacent tile. So this attack has an attack modifier, and it's going to affect only these two heroes here, our fighter and our wizard. Although these other two heroes are on the start tile as well, the start tile is divided in two. So only this section of the start tile is being affected by the concussive blast. That's a relief at least. Mm -hmm. So let's roll an attack against your fighter. 
You got a 15. 15. Plus 8 is going to be 23. And you have an AC of? 17. What does that mean? We got hit, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And so the damage it lists here is 2 damage. We're going to have to remove 2 hit points from our fighter. And then we also have to roll an attack against the wizard. Go ahead and roll. Let's see what we get. 16. 16. This is not good. 16 plus 8 is 24. Our wizard has an AC of 14. Our wizard has also been hit for 2 damage. We'll remove 2 hit points from our wizard. Yep. So we haven't even fought a monster yet and we're already getting hurt. Dear me. So now we're going to discard this encounter card. And now it's time to activate monsters. So Luke... Um. You're what? supposed to be with the people. Good point. I knew there was a reason why I invited you down here. <laughs> the other thing that was on this tile is it says after the attack, move each hero on the active hero's tile to an adjacent tile. So we got to move. What do you think we should do here? I guess move them back here so when that guy comes, he can't attack any of them. And then we can just turn. Okay. Them I, so what Luke's is suggesting is that we move both of the heroes onto the start tile over here. Like this. Where do you want to put? Like you want to put yeah, your here, that. right here. Yeah. This way, they're one tile removed again from our orc smasher. So when our orc smasher goes to attack, there won't be anyone on this tile to attack. You'll see how that plays out actually right now because it's now time to activate our monsters. We're going to look at the tactics. If the orc smasher is within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with a heavy mace. Now there's no heroes on the next closest tile because. Luke was smart and had them all get blasted over to the other side of the start tile, right? So the monster can't do that. The next thing it can do is it says, otherwise this orc smasher moves one tile towards the closest hero. So the next tile would be here on this start tile. Now normally when you move a monster, you place them on the scorch mark of the tile that you're moving it to. There's no scorch mark here, so we get to pick. Where would you like to put the monster? Okay, so you're moving it pretty close to our heroes, aren't you? You want to see them fight, don't you? I, I don't know if he's with us or against us here, to be honest. Okay, now that's fine. So that's going to be the end of the villain phase. And it's going to be time for our next hero to take their actions. Our next hero is going to be the cleric, and that's where you guys come in, because we want you to tell us what you want our cleric to do. Um, actually, to help you with that, I'm going to show some screenshots at the end of this video that shows the cleric stats, the special abilities for the cleric, and then you'll be able to submit your move to us, and then we'll pick one of them, and we'll show it in our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.